Welcome back to the logs for another bed making story. This is going to be like a commemoration for my first dog and the best one I ever had. And it's a long story, so this is going to be part one of two. It all starts in like 2001 or 2002, while on a walk with some friends and family through a state park in the Olympic National Forest in Washington. The place was beautiful with hiking trails and creeks everywhere. It was a sunny day and we were having a great time. We ended up stumbling across a homeless man with the most beautiful shepherd dog I had ever seen. I couldn't help but stop and pet the dog, and he was a young one, like maybe six or seven months. The man with the dog saw the instant connection we had and insisted I take the dog because he couldn't care for it. And being a young boy and easily excited, I was not going to leave him there. Without hesitation, I removed a shoestring from one of my shoes and made a ghetto leash, tying it around his neck, and we spent the whole day walking and exploring together. Well, the family friend that was watching us told me that I couldn't take the dog home, and my parents probably wouldn't approve, but being young and a little asshole, I argued with her and maybe said some mean stuff to her to get my way, and it worked. But when I got home, I had my hardest opponent. It was my parents, and they were not on board at all, so that night, me and my dad gave the dog a ride back to the state park. And I was bummed. It started raining heavily that night, and we couldn't find the homeless man, so we just dumped the dog off near the area and drove many miles back home. When we got back that night, I pleaded heavily with Ma and Pa to go back and get the dog. And finally, my dad said if the dog can find its way back here, then you can keep him. Knowing it was unlikely, he thought it would be the end of that. But the determination of my canine friend was just as strong as mine was. And a few hours later, we heard scratching at the door, and it was one soggy doggy. I quickly let him in and dried him off, and he was soaked. And shivering. And my parents were in complete shock. So was I. Nobody thought that the dog would be able to find its way back to the house. And it looks like we're almost out of time for part one, so follow or share to a friend for part two of the best dog ever. Now finally, I'll show you the bed reveal, and we can take a peek at that view. Follow for part two.